Starting next week, construction at the new access control point at Rockenbach Gate is forcing a traffic pattern change. Traffic will be restricted to a single inbound and single outbound lane. This allows work to continue on the new roadway. Fort Meade Police ask that you watch your speed and look out for construction workers. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, the VA Secretary talks about his plans for the future. It's Asian Pacific Heritage Month and the massing of the colors is coming up. These stories and more, but first, Fort Meade was well represented at the annual Federal Career Awards Ceremony hosted by the Baltimore Federal Executive Board. The event recognizes outstanding accomplishments of federal workers in Maryland. Fort Meade's Garrison Training Team earned the Gold Award for outstanding administrative work by a group or team in providing quality training assets and facilities. One of the team's recent projects, the indoor firing range at McGill. The Fort Meade Fire Department was recognized for the third straight year. This year, the Fire and Emergency Services Response Team was presented with the Gold Heroic Act Team Award for their response to a multi-vehicle collision last February. The Defense Information School also had three employees recognized for their efforts. Many others in the community received silver and bronze awards. For more on the story and a complete list of winners, pick up a copy of this week's issue of The Sound Off. In other news, last week, Secretary of the Veterans Administration Bob McDonald addressed the Center for Strategic and International Studies, laying out his vision and plan for the future of the VA. We are focusing on five strategies for the long term and 12 priorities for the short term or the near term. Our five long-term strategies our My VA strategies are about, first, improving the veteran experience. Second, improving the employee experience. Third, achieving support services excellence. Fourth, establishing a culture of continuous improvement. Fifth, enhancing strategic partnerships. Those five broad strategies are about achieving customer service excellence. We call the strategy My VA, and that's exactly how we want veterans to see it. We want every veteran to see VA as their own. We also want them to see VA as an organization they can be proud of, that they can trust, that they can count on, and that they can use for all of their needs. My VA is about keeping veterans at the table, in control of how, when, and where they wish to be served. In other news, the Fort Meade Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade are hosting this year's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month observance. It's coming up Wednesday, May 25th at 1130 at the McGill Training Center. The highlight is a performance by Mana Polynesia. The mission is free and open to the public. If you have any questions, contact the Garrison EEO office at 301-677-6687. Meanwhile, Friday, May 20th, is National Bike to Work Day. There are three rally points planned for the Fort Meade area. The locations are Arundel Mills, Annapolis Junction, and Odenton. Bikers can meet at the rally points and continue on to their workplace. You have to register to participate. Go to biketoworkcentralmd.com. And one final sports note. We spoke with CYSS Youth Sports Director Hunter Davis about four new summer programs for Fort Meade youth. The first one uh, is called Ready, Set, Run. Um, it's a great running program, um, teaches kids about uh, life skills, nutrition, uh, the importance of just staying active uh, in preparation to run a 5K. Um, and so they, they would practice twice a week um, leading up to the NWR 5K uh, in September. The second program with beach volleyball. Um, last season we offered indoor volleyball um, and we had a great turnout. We had um, three teams and, and we wanted to try to expand on that a little bit. The third being uh, we're going to have an uh, indoor Autobahn cart team, um, in which case all the, the, the players would meet over at the indoor speedway over in Jessup, Maryland. Um, we'll, we'll roughly have about two teams there, divide them up by their age group, um, and then each team will get about 30 minutes of racing or so. And the fourth one being uh, Friday night NFL flag football. Um, we have NFL football right now that we offer in the spring and the fall, uh, but we wanted to just try to give kids a chance to, kids that haven't played it before, um, to kind of introduce them to it. And then when they sign up in the fall, you know, they kind of already got that, they know the flow of the game and, and how it goes. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.